I need to go shopping this evening. Now, I was thinking about leaving this till the weekend and doing another limited budget food challenge, but <laughs> coronavirus has kind of happened a little bit here and panic buying has set in in the UK supermarkets. And so actually what I'm doing here is just a regular shop. So let's go out and have a look in the shops. I need to try to do my regular shopping and I'll see how that's been impacted by coronavirus panic buying. Let's go shopping. Okay, now a few people were confused about how trolleys work in UK supermarkets, thinking that I had to pay for the trolley. But actually it's just a deposit, and so here's how that works. So in order to take the trolley away, I just put a pound coin, or indeed in this case, that's a, just a token. I put it in that little tray, push that in, and it comes unclipped. When I finish my shopping and I've loaded my car, all I do is I just put, park the trolley up, lock it back up with a chain, and I get my token back. So let's have a look and see what's going on. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, this is the aisle where we would normally find toilet rolls, and there are no toilet rolls at all. <laughs> Panic buying has completely denuded the shop of toilet rolls. And uh, tissues too. So tissues, there's still some left, but a bit of a shortage. Oh well, on with the show. Right, this is uh, whole foods and jams and things. I don't think I need anything down this aisle. Let me just check my list. No, nothing from this aisle. So next one is kind of home baking stuff. Now I need to get some self-raising flour. And, well, <laughs> it's nearly all gone. In fact, I can't see any self-raising flour there at all. Oh well, I'm just going to carry on and just shop as normal. <laughs> okay, eggs. Okay. Yeah. Okay, these weren't on my list, but I'm going to get some anyway. I like crumpets. don't need any bread, but it's looking a little bit on the outside, the bread. What is missing is most of the uh, part-baked breads have disappeared. They have typically quite a long shelf life. Right. don't need anything down that aisle. That's all pre-packed dinners, so I do need to get some chicken. Uh, there's plenty of food here in the store still, so I really don't think there is any cause for alarm. Chicken thighs. £1.88, not bad actually. That could feature in one of our budget challenges actually, because that's not bad for a pack of chicken. Do need some cheese. 
66 for a block of cheddar. Tomatoes. Cooking oil seems to have taken a bit of a hit. Mayonnaise also. The pattern of things that people are buying is kind of bizarre. So yeah, pasta sauce um, gone. Pasta gone. The whole shells of pasta gone. Never mind, we didn't need pasta today, so on we go. Okay, so that's where all the tuna would normally be and the tin meats. So that looks like it's taken a bit of a hit as well. And rice. Rice is all but gone. Well, all of the bagged rice anyway. There's all of the prepared rice products and packaged weird expensive ways to buy rice are still available. Although actually interestingly the microwave packets look a bit uh, a bit beaten as well. I don't need any of that stuff today anyway. Tins of beans, the Tesco's own beans are gone, the Stockwell brand, the regular beans, well again looking pretty bare here. In fact most of the tinned beans and spaghetti is looking pretty badly beaten. Indeed the soup as well, tin soup. Um, well there's still a lot here, but some of the shelves looking pretty ransacked. Now interestingly this, this end display here would normally be full of hot dogs, tinned hot dogs. Now you've heard me speak about tinned hot dogs on the channel before. I mean look at the swing on that, you've just got to admire that. Everybody's rushed out and bought tin hot dogs. Weird. I do need to get some cordial or squash, but it looks like that's available. So I think we'll have lemon. Now this form of drink is probably quite unusual to the UK. I think in a lot of other places in the world we just don't have this. This is the most commonly drunk soft drink in the UK and we call this squash and it's basically a fruit concentrate. It's a bit like a cordial, comes in lots of different flavours. You put a little bit in the glass and you top it up with water and then you drink it. It's a still non-sparkling drink and it's very very popular. All the cheap stuff is gone. How about that? All the cheaper Tesco brand squashes are looking a little bit Worse for wear. Right. Oh, we've got to get Vimto as well. Jenny wants Vimto. <coughs> right, there we go, Vimto. It's a kind of uh, blackcurrant, raspberry, apple, and vanilla flavour drink. Right. Packets of cereals are starting to look a bit bare on the shelves, but 
most of what we're seeing here is just the supply chain issue. The people have rushed out and bought stupid amounts of everything and they've overwhelmed the store's capacity to replenish. It's not that there's a shortage of food, it is just that there isn't enough food on the shelves because they can't get it here in time to restock for all the, the people doing weird things. Okay, I'm gonna get some cheese crackers. And I'm gonna get some biscuits as well. Good old chocolate digestive, so I'll do. Right, what we got left to get? A little bit of frozen food and some veg. Hold up. Kind of cheating really, I should just cut potatoes into pieces but I haven't got a deep fryer and oven chips are actually not a bad product as far as I'm concerned. I think we will get also... I do like potato waffles with a fried breakfast. Bananas, we do need bananas. Yeah, it's not on the list, but they do look rather nice, so I think we'll get a nice cauliflower. Maybe have cauliflower cheese or something tomorrow. Carrots. I'll pick a nice bag with some nice thick ones in there, because I do like the thick ones. Okay. Pasta. I don't really like buying things in bags like this, but these bags are recyclable, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Potatoes. Yeah, those look nice. Now there were quite a few people on the challenge video and on the shopping video that talked about me putting my hands all over the produce. You guys just kind of need to get over that because single use plastics are going away and whilst well, we have got a container of bags up there that people can put things into, single use plastics really suck and so all of this packaging, supermarkets have committed to remove all of this plastic single use packaging by 2025. So some other solution is going to have to happen and most likely that solution is going to involve more loose produce that people pick up with their hands see here's the thing what you might not know about these onions that i put my dirty filthy hands all over when i shop for them these onions grow in soil actual literal dirt full of animal feces and bacteria and worms and bugs and all kinds of things you wouldn't want on your plate. That's why we peel produce, we wash produce, we cook produce. Cooking it kills the bacteria, peeling it removes the dirty bit off the outside, scrubbing it removes the dirt from the outside. Those three things are what you do with your produce when you're preparing it in the kitchen. And you guys getting worried about me putting my hands, which I washed earlier, on the produce is a bit stupid in context of where these vegetables came from and what's happened to them between the field and here. Anyway, rant over. I think we've nearly finished our shopping now. Just gotta go back and get some grapes and broccoli. Oh, one thing before we go. 
Let's just go off and have a look at the medicine section. So yeah, this is where the this is where the painkillers and the cold and flu remedies would normally be, but they're all gone. So it kind of sucks if you catch a cold in the middle of this panic buying about coronavirus because you won't be able to find your cold remedy. But there we go. So really nothing to panic about. There is no shortage of food here. There's just a, a few weird shortages of very specific items. But there is plenty of food here. I mean, look at this. Re honestly, ridiculous. We can't say there's a shortage of food when there's a whole aisle full of chocolate eggs. <laughs> okay? Perspective, guys. We're not starving to death. When we get back home, we'll just talk about what we've seen and what it means. So yeah, shopping trip over. Obviously I'm not back at the entrance of the store where I got the trolley from. I just have to bring it to one of these little sheds and park the trolley, nest it in with the others. Apologies for the lighting conditions here, it is just what it is. And then when I chain it up with this little tether, what happens here, I push that back in, that tray popped open, there's my token back. So shopping trolleys don't cost anything here. It's just a deposit system to keep the car park tidy, really. Stop people wandering off with trolleys or just leaving them abandoned in parking spaces. So there's my little trolley token back on the key ring, ready for use next time. And this token is the same size as a pound coin. So you can use a pound coin in the trolleys. That's what they're actually designed for. But the token works just as well. So anyway, what have we learned today at the shops? Well, I don't really actually see very much evidence of panicking at all. Um, so I think the right thing to do is sit down, have a cup of tea or coffee, nice slice of cake, and just calm down. So, ah, nice coffee. So, yeah, I mean, much as the media would like to spin this up into panic buying frenzy, I don't even really think that's what's happening. A few things have run out. A few people have probably been a bit stupid about buying too much of one thing. And, but I think individually, People are probably doing what they think is sensible. It's just that they're all doing the same thing and that's added up to a slight shortage of a few items on the shelves, which is really not a big deal. I think really the right thing to do is to continue not to panic. There is no reason to panic in this situation, largely because panic is not a great thing for improving many situations, to be honest. So panic is hardly ever the right response to any kind of threat or problem. We're just going to carry on. We're going to buy what we need. And if we can't get what we need, we're just going to buy something else. There is no shortage of food in the shops. There is no looming crisis. We're not about to starve to death. So that's all I've got for today, really. Thanks for watching. Don't panic. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.